Before we talk about this story, make sure to like and subscribe to get this channel to 2,000 subscribers. Now singles match, Darby's shot at the AEW World Championship will be on the line Darby Allen versus John Moxley. The match starts off with Moxley hitting Allen with a boot. Moxley then delivers a couple of chops on Allen in the corner, then jams Allen's mouth into the middle rope twice and hits him with a couple of body slams. Moxley then stomps on Allen and sends him into the corner, but Allen traps Moxley in the ring skirt and rakes his back. Allen then hits a kick on Moxley and traps his arm in the ring post before delivering some strikes on it and hitting him with a coffin drop off the top rope. Schaffer then stares Allen down on the top rope, opening the door for Moxley to hit a body slam on Allen on the apron. Schaffer then takes a couple of cheap shots on Allen on the outside as Moxley distracts the referee, then wears down his arm using the ring post. Moxley then turns Allen inside out with a clothesline. Allen then responds with a jawbreaker and a dropkick off the top, then looks to send Moxley crashing into the exposed turnbuckle. Moxley then prevents Allen from doing so, but Allen hits a springboard crossbody on Moxley and wears him down with a front face lock. Moxley then sends Allen crashing out of the ring, then exposes the concrete with Schaffer. Moxley then sets up for the Death Rider on Allen, but Allen escapes and sends Moxley crashing into the ring steps. Allen then looks to hit a taupe suicide on Moxley, but Moxley moves out of the way and Allen is sent crashing into the exposed concrete. Moxley then sends Allen crashing into the ring steps. Moxley and Allen then exchange open palm strikes and Allen climbs to the top and sets up for the coffin drop. Moxley then sees him coming and places Allen in a sleeper, but Allen escapes. Allen and Moxley then teeter on the top rope and Allen bites Moxley, but Schaffer distracts Allen, opening the door for Moxley to send Allen crashing into the mat for the win. The winner of the singles match, John Moxley. After the match, AW World Champion, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson emerges from the crowd and chokes Moxley out. Schaffer, Claudio Castagnoli, and Pac then pull Danielson off Moxley and beat him down, but Private Party and Commander make their way down to the ring to even the odds. Danielson then sets up for the Busey Kani, but Schaffer, Castagnoli, and Pac pull Moxley out of the ring before Danielson can. Danielson then grabs the mic and recalls Moxley saying he wanted a war. Danielson then yells, I declare war, and says Moxley can face him at Wrestle Dream. Danielson then says he will kick Moxley's F asterisk 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 ing head in. The final countdown then plays while Danielson is standing in the ring with Commander and Private Party as Moxley is at ringside with his crew. Commentary then hypes Danielson versus Moxley for the AW World Championship for Wrestle Dream. Excalibur then announces Pac, Castagnoli, and Wheeler Yuta versus Private Party and Commander for the AW World Trios titles at Collision, and the show comes to a close.